Okay, so welcome back to more Walking Dead Reactions. We're on Season 10, Episode 13 today. This is a special episode because it's Michonne's final episode and I hope it's going to be a really, really good one. I hope they send her off in the right way. It's going to be interesting to see what makes her leave. It's got to be one of two things. She either finds something that belongs to Rick and goes on her way, which is what most people are predicting, I think, or she gets taken by this by this community. I saw in the trailer, when Virgil goes there, that they're in this episode. They are mentioning this episode, so it's very possible she gets taken much like Rick did. Um, and then maybe she'll be in the Rick movie or something. I have no idea. I'm very interested. It's one of the uh, one of the few episodes and stuff because it's a completely brand new storyline. It's like you can't predict it. So it, it's going to be very fun to watch. Because last episode and for like the past three episodes, I've been like, when's Negan going to kill Arthur? When's he going to cut head off? Like, I've been saying it over and over again because uh, I was like, read the comics obviously. So it was easy to predict. But this one, can't really tell where it's going to go now. But I hope she gets sent off in a... In a brilliant way. And I hope we get a mention of Rick. A mention of Rick is always good. So we're on The Walking Dead Season 10 Episode 13. Let's jump right into it. Hey, what? It's a flashback. That's Season 3 Michonne. No way we're getting a flashback. Holy shit. Yo! No way! Oh no! Fucking beside the dying fire. I miss season two so much. Holy shit! Why the hell are they show this, Andrea? What? Is this a what? If? What the fuck was that? Maybe we'll get little snippets like that throughout the entire episode. That would be sick if we do. That orange backpack is very similar to the one that guy had in Season 3. Where they just left him on the road. Soundtrack is on point. Really good. Oh, she's figured it out. Stop the bullshit. Now, where the hell is your family? When I said I had to come home to my family. Yo, that's deep, man. Wow. But you sort of made it seem like they're alive, mate. My family's still in there. My babies. Wait, still in where? I'm lost. Wait, are they, is this community still here? Oh, you mean to take them down? Alright, okay. I was about to say, you just showed a grave and then you're saying they're in there. Like, where the fuck are they? I'm lost. So you brought her all this way so she could take out your walker fat? Bro, if I was Michonne, I'd be fuming. All this way to do a good deed. The soundtrack sounds like fucking State of Decay. For anyone who's played that game, it literally sounds identical to it. Shit, there's a load of them. I don't know about Virgil, you know, he's weird. Bro. Oh, what are you just- Oh my god, you are stupid. You're gonna ram into them. Yo, wow. Go on, Michonne. Just show me what I came here for and I'll go. It's getting late. Why is he so, like, just dude, come on. Really enjoying this episode so far. It's got like a, it's got a really classic Walking Dead type of feel, like a, reminds me like a, like a season four episode or something where you had like the episodes dedicated to individual characters. It reminds me of one of those episodes. The oh, fuck? No. You've ruined it. Open the damn door. I knew it. I knew this guy was. I said, but he had such a convincing story. The fucking idiot. He's a fucking prisoner. What the hell is going on? You can't kill him if you don't have your strength. They're they believe in her, didn't they? What is going on? 
sorry. The fuck has she been in? She's high. What's he injecting of him? Am <laughs> I watching him walking dead at the minute? What is going on? What did he do to her? I mean, I don't know if he's drugged her, but like, what's his deal here? And why the hell did she just see herself? Sadiq! No! Let me die. No! And Rick. No! And Kong. Rick Kong. <laughs> Don't name drop. I am so, I'm so lost right now. Oh my god. I miss season two so much. I sound like a broken record, but wow, they've just gone and shown that Andrea, if she was eaten alive, holy fuck! The Stone Mountain, Georgia. I, I told, I said that backpack's very similar. Oh my god, that's clear. Yeah, <laughs> I, I love this man. Oh my god, it's gonna get stuck in the mud. What the fuck, man? The saviors! What? This is so weird to see. Oh. This is a what if she joined the other side, isn't it? Glenn, no, Glenn and Heath. Oh, no, stop doing this to me. Allow it, please. Glenn. And that was Laura. She would have killed Glenn. I, I can't do this. I can't. Uh. See, I was going to do this next part myself. See, yeah, he gives it. Gal, Michelle, Michelle. Holy crap. This is fucking incredible. The what if story of Michonne. Didn't know. <laughs> fucking hell. Do you know how weird this is to see this? Jesus. Oh my god, that is an exact shot from season two. That scene, that scene is when he shoots Sophia. Holy crap, that is sick. Fuck, she didn't waste any time. Oh my god, she ain't getting back the boat. He done that fast. Virgil, mate, you fucked. You messed with the wrong person. I mean, what he said does make sense, but would you really trust him after that? I would just fucking, I'd just slice. Yo! <laughs> I thought she was going to straight up shoot him, though. I was going to say, what the hell? Looking up at the stars. Heaven hoped that you would see that, too. He saw something completely different. They're not Rick's boots, are they? Where the hell did you get these? Oh my god! And I, I mean, that was everyone's prediction. That was what everyone said. Because you see her looking at something in the trailer, and she's she starts crying. She's got a lead on Rick. Oh shit! Oh man, the Rick movies are gonna be fucking sick if this ends off with her going to find him. New Jersey. What? What? Who drew that? That's not Rick who drew that. Who it is? How the hell do they know what they look like? I'm looking, I've got so many questions. 
Charles comic shit right here. We're showing his on our boat in the, uh, at the end of the day. Come on, answer. Then we're going to find it, uh, Dad. Yes! Tell Judith, tell Judith! But if you think he's alive, then you have to go find him. No. No, not now. Your brother needs me. And everything going on in Alexander... No, go and find him. Yo, I, I'm so hyped for the Vic movies, and uh, they've got to come back to the show at some point. Andrew Lincoln and if Deny. I go, love you too, Mom. Go get him. Oh, man. <laughs> there we go, she's making the. Yeah, the arms are off, the jaws are off. Back to season three, Michonne with two new walkers. She's got the hood up as well and everything. This is literally, this is so good, man. Every time she has two walkers with her and a hood up, she always finds survivors. What on earth is that? Holy fuck. What an episode. That is my favourite episode of the season. Straight out favourite episode of the season, I don't care. What an episode, honestly. Like, I don't know if it's just because whenever I see flashbacks and stuff, I'm just like, instantly like, this is the best episode because I just love, reminds me of my absolute obsession with Walking Dead back in the day. Like, a unhealthy obsession with Walking Dead from like, Walking Dead season one to season, to season six. Um, So whenever I see flashback stuff, I'm just like, this is fucking... I miss it so much, but no. Nah, overall, that as an episode was just insane. It's Michonne dedicated. You 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 can't have a bad episode when it's dedicated to Michonne. Um, you got in for one Rick. You have. I, I didn't expect a conversation between Michonne and Judith. I didn't expect that. Um, the fact that Judith knows that this possibility that Dad's alive and like, it just makes me that much more excited for Rick movies. Deny must be in the Rick movies, right? Because I, I, does anyone even know anything about the Rick movies? I don't think anyone even knows. They is so under wraps. Um, I've not heard anything about it. Literally anything. I think I've heard one thing, and that is that Andrew Lincoln, obviously, and um, Pollyanna McIntosh was seen filming in some place. But that's it. That's obvious because she goes with him. So uh, she goes with Rick. So that's nothing we didn't know already. But. That's literally the only bit of news that I know has come out from it. We don't know if Denai's in it. We don't know anything about that. They've got to come back to the show at one point. I know they, um, a lot of people said this is going to be like, that was Rick's final episode and that was Michonne's final episode on the show ever, but there's no way. I reckon they'll return for probably the like a few episodes before the last ever episode of the show. I reckon this. I reckon Walking Dead's going until season 12, maybe season 13, because uh, there's only so much they can drag the Commonwealth out. Um, until and then I reckon it will, will end off with them returning in some way that's got to be the case that's got to be the case because I know there's no plans on them returning anytime soon so and that's still a good two years until season two uh, season 12 and season 13 so I love the what if scenario with Michonne like what if she didn't save Andrea and you got to see like it's just so weird with 10 seasons in 10 seasons in seeing like a flashback to well not a flashback but we're seeing season 2 stuff in season 10 so so strange seeing Andrea all these seasons later. Like, it feels like a completely different show uh, compared to her work that at that point. And then seeing her body completely destroyed afterwards because she decided to leave her. And then seeing her kill Glenn and all that. I absolutely love it when they show flashback stuff like that. And that parallel shot, someone's had to have paralleled that where Rick's aiming the gun at when he's about to kill Michonne. That is literally side by fucking side. When he's about to shoot Sophia, even the way the camera focuses on the on his uh, 44, that was just amazing. I'd say in terms of enjoyment, and I think it's just because mainly nostalgia, and because of it's Michonne focused. I think the soundtrack was on point. Like it, that episode felt like 10 minutes. I'd say it's probably my favorite episode, definitely of the season. Probably my favorite episode since like I don't know the past three seasons or something. That will most definitely be an unpopular opinion, but. It is what it is. I'm not going to lie. I, I really, really enjoyed the episode. That's definitely an episode I can watch back over and over again. So that was The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 13. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, cheers for watching.